Hi everyone, welcome to Amala Movements. I'm Charlotte. Today's practice is part of the Element Yoga series where we'll be exploring the qualities of earth, air, fire and water. Today's flow is all about the earth element. So we'll move through a slow grounding flow to help build strength, stability and resilience. Let's get started. begin this practice low to the ground in a hero pose or a kneeling pose. So if that's comfortable for you today I invite you to come down and join me and if not find a variation that works for you so perhaps a cross-legged seated position. And when you arrive we're going to rest both hands on our belly and gently close the eyes. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. And if you're familiar with Ujjayi breath, I invite you to tap into that. A strong grounding breath. And don't worry if you don't know what that is. I have a whole video on that practice that I will link in the description. And wherever you find yourself, just come back to that breath using this quiet moment as an opportunity to connect inwards, to ground into yourself, but also to feel supported and to ground down into the earth. Allow your thoughts to settle. We'll be here for just a few more moments. Trust this time and imagine that your thoughts are almost like dust floating around and give it time and it settles and it quietens uh, down on the air. And one final breath, inhaling. And on an exhale, slowly start to blink the eyes open. Bring the palms together at Anjali Mudra. And this little hand sequence is something that we're going to repeat throughout our practice today, just to bring us back into the present moment, to help ground us in, ground us in towards our body. So that movement is... <laughs> Starting with your hands in Anjali Mudra. The fingertips brush the back of your neck. Your fingertips find each other again at the back. You stretch the arms up, Anjali Mudra. You open the chest, look up towards the sky. Hands can fly apart. And slowly you fold forwards. You keep the spine long for as long as you can. Pause, breathe, inhale. Long spine and exhale, hands come down, relax the head, child's pose. If you want to give yourself a bit more space here, you can come up onto all fours, open the knees and then drop the hips back. Keep the palms down towards the earth, really great for grounding, really great for building that sense of connection and support from not only beneath you, but from within. We'll take another breath and allow the belly to soften. The body, breath and mind softening into stillness. And stillness is a, an idea that we're going to carry out throughout our practice together today. We will, of course, be moving through a flow but in all the different shapes and postures we find ourselves in, I invite you to be still. Can you hold the time and space for stillness so that you can allow things to settle, allow energy to ground down 
building that stability and strength. All within the stillness. Good. let's start to press up through the feet, finding a tabletop, hands underneath you. Open your knees out wide so we're mat distance apart. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up to find downward facing dog. And as this is our first downward dog, we can lean into movement. So perhaps pedaling out through the legs, warming up the back of the body, Continue with your ujjayi breath. And when you feel ready to settle, find stillness. A very wide leg, downward facing dog. Feel free to bend the knees, thinking about your tailbone lifting up and back towards the sky. And using your breath to connect into the present moment. Be here now. Good, one more breath. Stay with me. And at the end of your next exhale, bringing your left leg to the middle of your mat. Ground down through your left heel. Inhale, sweep your right leg up high, three-legged dog. Exhale, look forward, squeeze your right knee towards your nose. Allow the shoulders to round, supporting you. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, look forward. This time, step all the way in between your hands. Come onto your fingertips. Bring the left leg in slightly so we can press down through your left heel. Bend through the right knee and slowly, like really slowly, <laughs> start to roll yourself up to warrior one. Keep bending in your right knee. Keep grounding down through your left heel. And this is where we build the strength. This is where we build resilience. Bring your palms together on Jalei Mudra. We take our motif. Fingertips round the back of the neck. A kiss, reaching the fingertips up towards the sky. Arms open, pause here. Sinking into stillness. And wobbles can come, wobbles can go. We're human, that happens. But it's about how do we come back to the present moment? How do we let go of what was? And just be here now. Good, draw the belly in. Find a long spine, reach the fingertips forwards. Good. Stroke a plant. We'll just be here for one more breath. And the exhale brings you back up. Palms come together. Open yourself out to warrior two. Legs are wide, bending in the right knee, grounding down through the outside edge of the left foot. Arms are strong. Focus is even stronger. Looking towards your right middle finger. Such a powerful place to be. Breathe in, sink lower, <laughs> hello, <laughs> breathe in, exhale, cartwheel the hands down, both fingertips to the earth, bend your left knee, look forwards, inhale, exhale, both hips back, right toes towards the face, inhale, exhale, roll through to find a low kneeling lunge. Lift the chest, hands come to heart center. You know what's coming, big breath in. Exhale, fingertips round to the back of the neck. Be here now, reach the hands up, shine the heart towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, keep the spine long for as long as you can. Good, big breath in. Exhale, plant the palms, step the right foot back, Knees come together, pick the hands back and fold forwards. Inhale. Exhale, surrender. Balasana, child's pose. 
Allow the forehead to rest comfortably in the earth. Allow your shoulders to melt round the rib cage, folding forwards. You are connected. Take one more breath. And on an exhale, reach one arm and reach the other arm towards the front edge of your mat. Ground down through the palms, ground down through the fingertips. Look forwards, lift yourself up onto all fours. Opening the knees, mat distance apart. Tucking the toes, hips up and back to find our very wide downward facing dog. Now I invite you to um, explore what stillness feels like for you today. So the body is still, but the breath can still travel freely. Notice if thoughts pop up when we become still, this is normal. Bring the breath and ground down into the present moment. Be here now. Good, let's bring the right foot into the middle of the mat. Ground down through the right heel. Inhale, sweep your left leg up high. Exhale, look forwards. Squeeze the left knee towards the nose. Allow your shoulders to round. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg up high. Exhale, look forward. Step the left leg all the way up in between the hands. Come onto the fingertips. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the right leg up just a little so you can really connect down through your right heel. Bend the left knee and slowly, the slowest you have ever rolled up to a warrior one. Take your time. Experience each individual wobble. It is valued and take your time to arrive. Adjust your stance if you need to. Bring the palms together. Inhale. Exhale, fingertips reach behind the neck. Hands kiss, reach up, open the palms. Lift up through the chest. Be here now. There's something so beautiful in slowing down to feel out and truly connect to and live in each, in each moment. Take one more breath. Exhale, draw the belly in. Keep the spine long for as long as you can. Really reach the fingertips forwards, reaching the tailbone back behind you. Bending the left knee, grounding down through the right heel. Inhale. Stay with me. Exhale, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Palms come together. Open out. Widen your stance. Find warrior two. Sink into your left knee. Grounding down through the outside edge of the right foot. Arms are strong, palms pressing down towards the earth. Focus is still. Mm, it feels good to be still. <laughs> take a breath. Exhale, take up space, cartwheel the fingertips down to the earth, bending the right knee. Low lunge, inhale, roll the shoulders forwards, open the chest. Exhale, both hips back, forward fold, left toes towards the nose. That rhymed. That was fun. Inhale, roll the shoulders. Sorry, got distracted by my poem. Roll through to a low lunge. Then we roll the shoulders in towards the back. We open the chest, palms come together. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, fingertips back, palms together. Lifting up, open the chest. Ah, I am here. Big breath in. 
Exhale, long spine, reach the fingertips forwards. Inhale. Exhale, palms down. Step the left leg back, knees together. Palms brush along the floor, open the chest. Exhale, we fold down. Wiggle yourself into comfort. And then just be. Just be here exactly as you are. Not needing to do anything else, not needing to change anything. Because exactly as you are is perfect. Right now is absolutely perfect. Hmm. Yeah, let's start to reach one hand and the other hand towards the front edge of the mat, palms face down. Press through the tops of the feet, look forward, rise up onto all fours. Open the knees out wide. Tuck the toes and again we come to wide downward facing dog. Settle into stillness. Knees can be bent, tailbone lifting up towards the sky. Ground down through all your fingertips, all of your knuckles. Bring the breath. Slowly start to walk the hands towards the feet. So the feet stay exactly as they are. Hands coming towards the back edge of your mat. Come on onto your fingertips, bend the knees, stick your bum out behind you, lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, fold forwards and hold opposite elbows. So you can bend the knees here to support yourself into this wide leg forward fold. On an inhale, send your breath into your belly. Feel that expansion in your lower back and exhale. It releases. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, send the breath into the lower belly. Feel that expansion in the lower back and exhale. We can find a release. Bring your fingertips to the floor. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. Turn your toes outwards. So the heels are on a diagonal pointing in towards each other. Bend the knees as much as you need so that the palms of the hands can really ground down through the earth. Keep bending the knees and we'll find this variation of malasana, of our squat pose. So perhaps today, in order to keep the hands on the floor and the heels grounded, you don't sink too low. Your hips can stay high. If you have the space in your hips today to drop deeper, I invite you to go there if it feels good, but we're staying grounded through the palms. So we're really connected. Our spine can round. And wherever you are, soften the neck. Give the back of the head a little wiggle. This is a lot for the legs. You're doing really well. Take one more breath. And on an exhale, look towards the top of the mat. Almost like you are Spider-Man or something. Walk your hands out, find a plank pose. Big breath in. And on an exhale, lift your hips up and back to find your normal stance for a downward facing dog. We're just here for a breath, inhale. Exhale, lower the knees to the floor, look forwards. Cross the ankles behind you, rock yourself back to a seated position. And we're going to meet in a place where our legs are extended out in front of us. You can move the fleshy part of your bum out the way so you can root down through your sit bones. Roll your shoulders in towards your back. Press down through your fingertips or the palms of your hands if they reach. Sandhasana, just for a breath. (sighs) 
And when you're ready, slide the left leg up in towards your pelvis. So depending on how you're feeling today, you can keep that left leg here, or you can bring it across the right thigh, the right thigh, <laughs> the right thigh, to find a deeper twist and perhaps a deeper opening for the left glute. Right hand comes to your left knee. Roll your left shoulder in towards the back. We find a twist. Flex through your right toes. Big breath in. Exhale. Spiral. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Big breath in. And on this exhale, we release. Bring the left foot to the right thigh, dropping the left knee out towards the side. Janusha Sasana. Hips pointing towards your right toes. Inhale. We reach. Exhale, fold forwards. And I really encourage you to listen to your body today and find a place that you can ground down and connect through the palms of the hands. So if this means bending your right knee so you can find that support, that grounding, stability, connection that we are exploring today. I started going off on a tangent and I can't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> story of my life. Um, what I'm trying to say is bend the knee so you can put your hands on the floor. Basically. <laughs> Wherever you are, take one more breath. And exhale, roll up through the spine. Left leg extends. Right knee comes in. And you can stay here, really flexing up through that left ankle. If you want a deeper stretch, crossing the right foot over the left. Left hand around the right knee, roll the right shoulder in towards the back, fingertips come behind you. Finding a twist, inhale. Exhale, spiraling through the spine. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale, twist. Final time, inhale. And exhale to release the body. Bring the right foot across to the left thigh. Right knee dropping out. Flexing the left toes. Big breath in. Reaching up. Exhale, fold forwards. Plant the palms. So of course, listen to where you are. Feel free to bend that knee so that you can find that grounded connection. Back of the neck is soft. Look forwards, inhale. And exhale, roll up through the spine, bringing both knees to standing. Scooch your bum to the middle of your mat, reach forwards. Feet and knees are hip distance apart. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, tuck the pelvis, roll down, keep reaching forwards and with control we slowly rest the back of the head into the floor, extend both legs out long. Resting your palms, sorry, resting your arms by your side, palms up towards the sky. You can allow the eyes to close and sink into the earth. And it's almost like the mat beneath you, or the ground, the earth beneath you, is wrapping you up in a big, snuggly, fluffy blanket. Almost like your mat is like a pillow. You can imagine the sense of just falling back, but being caught and supported 
by a soft embrace. Know that you are supported. You are already strong. You are already strong. And slowly, let's start to twinkle the tips of the fingers, the tops of the toes. Slide one leg up and the other leg up so that your feet are standing, knees up towards the sky. Come to bring your palms together at Anjali Mudra, resting your thumb at your third eye. We'll take a final breath to conclude our practice. Inhale. And exhale, release the breath. Thank you so much for sharing your precious time and energy with me today. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.